is Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 5. A Lincoln mom faces every parent's worst nightmare after a homicide here in Lincoln. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Just two days ago, a Lincoln man was fatally shot in southeast Lincoln. That's right. Today, his family is speaking out, and Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Bailey Bischoff joins us now with more on our top story tonight. Bailey. Rod and Megan, Edgar's mom, knows that nothing will ever make the pain of her son's death go away, but she says she wants justice. I just want my baby back. I just want my baby back. That's all. That's Monica Brown. She's Edgar Union Jr.'s mom. He was killed in a shooting Monday afternoon. She says the moment he was shot, her life changed forever. I feel like I was dying. I feel like that I couldn't move. I was just so, just so shocked. I rushed over there where he was at. By the time I got there, my baby was gone. And the days since haven't gotten any better. I ain't been able to sleep good at night. Because when I wake up, I just see him in front of me. She wants the person responsible to pay. I'm going to make sure y'all don't get punished for what y'all did to my son. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure that's going to be the first and last thing I do. Make sure that y'all be held accountable for what y'all did to Edgar. Lincoln police haven't made any arrests and have no updates to the investigation as of Wednesday morning. But officers say they are working around the clock to find out who pulled that trigger and what led up to it. Several persons of interest have been identified. We need the assistance of the public and those that may have witnessed this particular incident or any of the events that precipitated it to call us and provide additional details to our investigative units. Monica says Edgar leaves behind five young daughters who now have to grow up without a father. I will let them know that he loved y'all and he was always there for y'all. And he gonna still be here with us in our hearts but he had never come back to us. He graduated from Lincoln High in 2013, just 22 years old. But she says it was 22 years of love for those in his life. Everybody loved Edgar. Everybody loved him. He has so many friends down here. Monica is asking for the community's help with the costs of burying Edgar. She says donations can be made to Boutheris Major and Love Funeral Home on 40th and A Streets. Boy, it's hard to imagine what they are going through right now. Let's hope that the uh, suspects, whoever is uh, responsible for this, caught soon. Thank you, Bailey.